Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. I hope you all are doing good. This video is a continuation of the last video where I discussed what is prototype design pattern which was a part of creational design pattern. I will provide the link of that video in this description. In this video, I will discuss what is adapted design pattern which is a part of structural design pattern. So what is adapted design pattern? By definition, Adapted design pattern is a structural design pattern that allows objects with incompatible interface to collaborate. So let me explain this using an example. Imagine that we have created a stock market monitoring app. The app downloads the stock data from the multiple uh, sources in XML format. So these are the like you can assume that this application is downloading the multiple source data from these sources it can be a bank or some other uh, institution and from this institution it is downloading the data in the form of XML and then it is doing some processing and displaying the data in some nice format. Now just assume that after some time we, we got one a third party application which can display the same data in a very nice format and we wanted to use that third party application. So this is my third party application. But the problem with this third party application is that it requires the JSON, uh, JSON format data and not this XML format data. So I cannot use this third party uh, application directly and pass this XML format to this third party application and use its feature, right? So what I can do? So if I'm going to pass my XML data to this application, this is not allowed and this will not work also. So to make it work, what we can do, we can write one adapter which will convert this XML to the JSON data. So what we are going to do, we are pass this XML to this JSON converter and this JSON converter is going to convert that XML into JSON and pass that formatted data to this third party application. And this way, this third party application can be used to display the data in nice format. So this is basically your adapter. So here you can see this, this particular adapter is used to display or convert the uh, existing format or existing data into the desired format data. So this is basically the adapter here. In the real world analogy, if you see, we have seen a card readers, right? We use SD card reader, micro SD card reader. So all this go through this adapter. So in this adapter, we put that micro SD card cards and these card readers act as an adapter. Similarly, if we have a USB and we need an Ethernet port for that, we already have an adapter called a USB to Ethernet adapter. So basically, I have an Ethernet cable and I want to use the internet, but I don't have that Ethernet port in my laptop. So what I can do, I can use the USB to Ethernet uh, converter to get the internet right. Moving to the next slide. So let's try to understand this adapted design pattern using this uh, UML diagram. So in this, you can see what I have is, let me, uh, yeah. So I have one interface here. You can see I have one interface here and I have a second interface here. Okay. Now in this, this is my basic interface and this is my advanced interface. I will, I will come to these interfaces in detail even I will go through the code. But just assume that there is a basic image viewer interface where there is a show method defined. And this show method is getting implemented by this gallery app. So you can assume this part is not there yet. Okay, so this is my basic application till from here till here, this is my basic application. Now, after some time, we saw that there is an advanced image viewer where this interface is get got implemented by one PNG shower and a JPG shower inter, uh, classes. So these classes is going to display like, uh, is it a JPG shower or, because this is the PNG shower, right? So in this PNG will be implemented and this is just a like dummy method. Similarly, in this JPG shower, we have we will display the JPG. Uh, we will going to implement uh, this show JPG method, and so PNG will be the dummy method. 
Now, just assume this is my advanced uh, image viewer, and this was the basic image viewer which was implemented by the gallery app. Now, this gallery app want to use or want to want to basically use this PNG shower and this JPG shower which implements this advanced image viewer. So, can it use it directly? No, it cannot use it directly. And to use it, it has to create one image adapter. So, you see, this is the adapter here. This part is the image adapter. Now, how this image adapter is enabling this gallery app to use this uh, PNG shower and the JPG shower. Basically, it is using two uh, features of the Java. One is the inheritance and one is composition. So, you can see in this what it is doing is it is creating a reference object of this advanced image viewer interface. So, it is taking this interface, it is creating a reference of this and in this adapter, right, it is implementing this also. So, this is the inheritance. This image adapter is basically implementing, implementing this interface and it is using the composition of this advanced viewer interface and try to use these classes. So, let me show in the code how we can achieve this. So, so let's go to the code now. So, for the time sake, I have already written the code in uh, IntelliJ. I will go through the code one by one. So, I was explaining here. Uh, so, these two interfaces, right? So, you can see here, there is two interfaces I have already written. One is the basic image viewer, where I have a show method. It takes two input parameters. One is the type of that image and that image name. Now, here you can see this gallery app, gallery app is basically implementing this image viewer, right? And now, after some time, we got this, this advanced image viewer also. And my gallery app wants to use this advanced image viewer. But it cannot directly use it because this is not compatible by the gallery app. So, what it is going to do is it is going to create an image adapter. So, before we go and see the image adapter, we will see this JPG shower and this PNG shower. This JPG shower has implemented this advanced image viewer. And in this method, you can see because, uh, sorry, PNG shower. In this PNG shower, it has implemented this advanced image viewer interface and it has also implemented this so png method so it is just a so png method and here because it is not a jpg uh, class it is doing nothing in this similarly in this jpg shower you can see we have implemented this advanced image viewer and in this so uh, jpg we have we have given the body of this method in this we are not doing anything so this is the two uh, classes which i was just showing on this also that two classes there which is implementing this advanced image viewer right now, if you see here, uh, this image adapter, how this image adapter is enabling this gallery app to use this advanced image viewer, right? Now, in this image adapter, basically, it is implementing this image viewer, which, which was a basic, uh, my basic interface. And also, it is using this composition of this advanced image viewer. Now, we have a constructor which takes the parameter of parameter as a like what is the type of that uh, file it is a png or a jpg and depending on that it is creating that classes also so here you can see if you are passing it as a png it is creating a png shower class and if you are passing as a jpg it is creating a jpg shower class but basically this advanced image viewer is the interface right so it can hold any type of class object which basically implement this interface and this feature is nothing but the polymorphism, right? Now, what we have done is we have created a constructor here. In this show method, which basically, because it is implementing this image viewer, it has to implement this show method also, which, which is nothing but this method. So, when it is implementing this, this show method, it is basically taking the type of this uh, image and based on the type, it is it is just calling this so png or so jpg now because this advanced image viewer can call this so png and so uh, jpg method because this is the interface right and if this interface holds the object of that type basically so when when the uh, object 
type or when the object when the format of that file is jpg basically it will be holding a jpg jpg shower right and when it is holding the jpg shower it can easily call like this so this is your polymorphism feature of the java now this is the way this adapter this image adapter is enabling this gallery app to call it now this image adapter if you see in this gallery app we are using this image adapter now in this image adapter we, we have created an image adapt adapter here right it is the png or jpg and we are calling this image adapter dot show right so when you're calling this show basically it will go to your this this method and depending on the type of that file or uh, image it is going to uh, call this show png or show jpg so basically you can see here we are using an image adapter class which enables this gallery app which enables this gallery app to call the show method which is going to call this this png or the uh, jpg or the png shower method which basically implements this advanced image viewer right so using this image adapter you are able to use this advanced image viewer also so let me run this code and show how these things are working so if you go here and basically this is my demo class if i'm going to run this see here i can i can easily call this is the png file uh, like jpg file this you can see this type right jpg file this is the png file and this is the, again the jpg file and the gif file format is not supported so this is all about uh, adapter uh, design pattern in java I hope I made this uh, adapted design pattern easy to understand. If anybody has any doubt, you can write it in comment section and I will try to answer it. And if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel to stay connected. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.